I've been fine-tuning language models for months now, and Unsloth AI just caught my attention with some pretty bold claims. Two times faster training, 70% less memory usage, and support for everything from Llama to Gemma models. Sounds too good to be true, right? Let's see if this open-source tool actually delivers on the hype. <clears throat> so what exactly is Unsloth? It's an open-source framework designed to make fine-tuning large language models way more efficient and accessible. The whole idea behind it is taking models like Llama 3, DeepSeq R1, or Gemma 3, and customizing them for your specific needs without burning through your GPU budget or waiting days for results. Here's what surprised me about Unsloth. It's not just another wrapper around existing tools. The team actually rebuilt key components from scratch to optimize memory usage and speed. They're using Flash Attention 2 under the hood, but they've added their own optimizations on top of it. The result, training that's genuinely faster than what you get with traditional methods. Now, let's talk about what makes this thing special. First, the memory efficiency is legitimately impressive. I tested this on a few different setups and consistently saw around 60 to 70% less VRAM usage compared to standard fine-tuning approaches. That means you can fine-tune larger models on consumer hardware, which is huge if you're not working with enterprise-level GPUs. The speed improvements are real too. On single GPU setups, I'm seeing roughly two times faster training compared to baseline methods. But here's where it gets interesting. On multi-GPU systems, they claim up to 30 times faster performance. I haven't tested that myself since I don't have access to massive GPU clusters, but the single GPU improvements alone are worth paying attention to. What really stands out is how beginner-friendly they've made this. The documentation is actually readable, the setup process is straightforward, and they provide plenty of examples. If you've ever tried fine-tuning models before and got frustrated with the complexity, Unsloth feels like a breath of fresh air. You can get started with their free version and work your way up. But let's be real about the limitations. First, you're still dealing with the fundamental challenges of fine-tuning. Having faster tools doesn't magically solve data quality issues or the need to understand what you're actually trying to achieve. Unsloth makes the process more efficient, but it can't fix bad training data or poorly defined objectives. The free version has some constraints, too. While it supports popular models like Mistral and Gemma, some of the more advanced features and optimizations are reserved for their paid tiers. The pricing isn't clearly laid out on their website, which is honestly a bit frustrating when you're trying to plan a project budget. Here's something that caught me off guard. The community around Unsloth is surprisingly active. Their GitHub repository has solid documentation, regular updates, and they're pretty responsive to issues. They even helped fix a gradient accumulation bug recently and pushed out improvements that cut memory usage by another 30%. That kind of active development gives me confidence they're not just going to abandon this project in six months. The platform supports an impressive range of models. We're talking Llama 4, DeepSeek R1, Quen 3, Gemma 3, Mistral, and they even mention support for transformer-style models beyond just language models including text-to-speech and multimodal applications. Now, who should actually use this? If you're a developer or researcher who needs to fine-tune models regularly, Unsloth is definitely worth trying. The efficiency gains alone will save you time and money. It's also great for anyone working with limited hardware resources who still wants to experiment with fine-tuning larger models. Students and educators will appreciate the beginner-friendly approach and the fact that there is a free tier to get started. But if you're looking for a completely no-code solution, or you're not comfortable with Python and Jupyter Notebooks, this might not be the right fit. Unsloth is developer-focused, and while it's more accessible than alternatives, you still need some technical background to use it effectively. Here's my bottom line on Unsloth AI. The performance improvements are legitimate, the memory efficiency is genuinely helpful, and the active development gives me confidence in its future. The free tier lets you test it out without commitment, and the learning resources are solid. If you're already doing fine-tuning work, or you've been intimidated by the complexity and resource requirements, Unsloth is worth checking out. It won't solve every challenge in the AI fine-tuning space, 
but it makes the process significantly more accessible and efficient. If this helped you out, hit like and subscribe. I break down the latest and most talked about tools every week across finance, marketing, software, design, basically any niche you care about. Check out the newest review here or hit the playlist if you're still comparing. But hey, what's your take? Is this one a win or would you pass? Drop a comment, I'm always curious what real users think.